Hi everyone, Ak here from Infinitech. Today we're going to do another hands-on demo of the Pocket TV. We're going to look at the different methods you can use to control your Pocket TV from home. We're going to look at using the Air Remote, we're also going to use the Infrared Remote, and we're also going to look at apps that can be used on your Android smartphone or iPhone to control the Pocket TV. Like always, we have our USB hub connected to the Pocket TV that's behind the television, and we also have our infrared receiver. Okay then, let's take a look at how and see how it works. So let's start with the air remote. As you've seen in the previous videos, the air remote can move up, down, and sideways, just with the motion of your hands. We've already shown it quite a bit, so we're not going to focus on it too much. More importantly though, we want to take a look at apps. The main app we use is the Google TV remote app. We're using a Samsung Galaxy S3, but you can use an iPhone as well. Mainly what you do is, you use your finger to control the, the scrolling motion on the screen. Let's start with the Play Store. We click on it, open the Play Store, and we get access with the motion of our finger. We can also use the up, down, and side cursors to control the motion of the screen. Let's search for an app. Um, let's search for Skype for example. We press keyboard, the keyboard pops up, we type Skype, and there it is. We scroll to it, click it, and we download it. It's already downloaded so we would just open it in this case. That's basically how the app works. The same app can be found on iOS such as iPhone. Alright, let's take a look at the infrared remote now. Alright, so the last thing we're going to look at is the infrared remote. As you can see, for the infrared remote we have a different launcher. This launcher makes it easier for you guys to run or use the infrared remote. We just point and go up, down, sideways, and then click whatever it is that we need to use. Browsers, different videos, music and so forth. Let's look at some apps and how you would use them. Let's look at the Google Play app again. We press enter and it's where we left it. We can hit the back button here and well in this case we left the app. Let's open it up again and there it is. You can go right, left, up and down. Choose your apps or even search for an app like we did before. You click the search button and then you search using the screen. So let's search for Facebook for example. We're using the virtual keyboard here F A and the first thing that pops up is Facebook for Android there. So this is how you would use the infrared remote. Those are the three remotes. We hope you enjoyed the demo. Give us your feedback and again, thanks all for supporting us. Have a great day.